we're here. And today, uh, we're going to be doing another Splash tutorial video. Um, so, the last Splash tutorial video was Starro. Um, now, this one is going to be uh, the Pink Soldiers from Squid Game. Uh, if you haven't heard of Squid Game, then I, I'm pretty sure you have heard of Squid Game or watched it. I've watched it. Um, it was a very good TV show. Really enjoyed it. Um, and I really like the pink guards, uh, the design and everything. I, I thought they looked really cool. Um, and I wanted to make a plush. Uh, but not just make a plush and do a video on it. No, no, no. I wanted to show you guys how to actually make your own uh, pink soldier plush. Um, so basically what you're going to need, um, you're going to need some black felt. Uh, you can find this at your local Michaels or craft store or anything like that. Black felt, white felt, and some, um, obviously, you. this is dark pink. Um, so this is dark pink. You can use this um, as well. Um, and then you're also going to need some pipe cleaners. So I'll explain what the pipe cleaners are used for. Um, let me just reach to the side here. Uh, fabric scissors. Um, a hot glue gun with some glue sticks and some stuffing. So, so yeah, that's the uh, materials you will need. Um, so we'll start right now. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need, uh, you're going to need your pink felt. Now, what you want to do is that you want to make a wide oval. Um, so this is how you can make a simple, easy body. Um, you can make a, a little oval. I'll show you how to do that now. And then you're going to make two of those ovals. Uh, this is a no so thing. You only get to use hot glue gun. Uh, so you're going to cut out a medium oval. Like this. This is what you need. This is for the body. Uh, then you're going to, you can use uh, Sharpie to trace, uh, but I, I don't use Sharpie anymore because the black, um, all the black uh, outlines can be seen. Uh, if you don't want that, then you just follow what I do. So now you have this, what you're going to do is that you're going to just plant onto your leftover and you're going to cut it out with your scissors and trace it around with your scissors. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. And after you are done gluing it and there are some access bits you can just um snip that off so gonna cut that around let me just move some of this stuff here because i'm gonna now you have two of the exact same oval now you're going to put this to the side uh now you're going to work with the arm now what i do for my arms i'm just going to pull a random plush over here this is the uh this is lawrence set also known as the red guy from mall on 76th street plush series that i did uh this is a very simple plush um now for the arms here they are just rectangles um just long rectangles uh with a pipe cleaner in them um and same for the legs so that's basically what you're gonna do for the arms and the legs um just use some um uh just make a small rectangle uh not a small rectangle but a wide uh long rectangle make sure it's wide enough because you are going to stick a pipe cleaner in there uh for posability in the arms and the legs if you don't want that then you can just glue it um so what you're going to do is that you're just i recommend cutting it from the sides here because you don't want to waste any of the excess felt um so you can just do that and you can decide which one is better i will put my tripod for you guys so you can actually see um so here is one let's move him over there uh so you can see the little rectangle there that's for the arm now you're just going to plant it on here and you are going to trace it with your scissors, plant it down, and just, and then just do that. And then as you can see, there is a little excess, so then you're just going to cut it off with your scissors. And 
make sure it's perfect. it's not going to be perfect but there you go now you have two now you have one arm now this is a easier way to save time what you are what what you can do is that you can take the the other one and trace it yet again two times as well to give it the other arm and then do that for the legs they do not have to be the exact same size the arms and legs there we go have feet three do not have to be the exact same size just put it down like that and then you just have to Kind of like so. Now you have two arms complete. Now for the pipe cleaner, just to save us some time, you have your pipe cleaner here. Now what you're gonna do is that you're going to plant on like that and see how long the pipe cleaner and the arm are. And then you're just gonna take a little excess bit. Uh, I recommend cutting it just a little bit short like this. You do not want it to be all the way to the edges because when you glue it on, some of the pipe cleaner will the sharp edges will stick out and then when you're moving it you can cut yourself i've cut myself multiple times this is what i do and then you're just going to do that again with the other like so then you can use this one for the other arm and then you can just use i have another pipe cleaner here and just put that like so now you have like that beautiful layout now for the legs they do not have to be the exact same length they could be shorter um so just take the little legs and just cut them like so. Bam. And I'm sorry for any of the background noises, by the way. I'm um, sorry I'm not talking right now, um, but it is pretty self-explanatory of what you're going to do. Now you have the arms, the legs. Take your pipe cleaner. And by the way, they I recommend using um, like skin color if you're doing humans uh, because if it rips, they could be like, hey, look, there's his skin showing or something like that. Um, or use the exact same color. Um, as the arm, like I did with Lauren said here, I use red pipe cleaner so it can hide the fact that there is a pipe cleaner so it's not just so distracting. Um, so move that over there. Just take that and put it to the side. Oh, I'm stupid. Um, you do not need two pipe cleaners for each arm. I'm stupid. Um, I just wasted putting a good pipe cleaner. Um, you only need one pipe cleaner for each set. So you only need one pipe cleaner for one arm, one pipe cleaner for another arm, and two pipe cleaners, uh, one pipe cleaner for one leg. Um, now, where's my phone? Uh, iPad. Now, I'm just going to do a little image here. Uh... Just for reference. Uh, okay, so they have... They have... Black... I don't want to say. Uh, they have... Black... Um, feet. Black shoes, I should say. And black hands. Now, since this is a thick black, you don't need two of them, so you can just, if you want, then that's perfectly fine. Bam. Bam. Two feet. And what you're going to need, uh, it is really hard to do hands um, with felt. Uh, there are some people that can do it. What I do is that I'm just going to take a little square here, like so. Just take a little square and just slightly 
cut the edges like so. I'll do it like this. So you're just going to cut like this for the fingers. They are a little blocky, but it gets the job done. Then you can round the square to make it more of a defined. It doesn't need to have five fingers. It can just have four if you really want. And then you can just use the exact same method as before. Just take it slightly cut in, 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 and then around it. Now you have two hands and two feet. Now we are going to go on to the, I can just turn this off right now. I don't need that. Uh, now you are going to need, we're going to do the head. Uh, let's take black felt yet again. You are going to make a round circle for black. Cut out that. And then you're just going to make a circle like so. Like so. Just a round circle. And make two of the circles. Two circles for the head. Put them to the side. Now, you, uh, for method, uh, since there are three shapes, you got the triangle, you got the square, you got the circle. Um, I'm gonna do the square, um, and, uh, squares are easier to do in felt, so that's what you're gonna need for the white, uh, part. So just take some white, and what you're gonna do is that you're just gonna take, um, four strips of white, make sure they are small enough. So make a kind of a lawn strip here, cut it. Then what you're going to do is that you're just going to snip it off like so, make sure they're the exact same length. And then you can map out the square. Uh, and then we will finally glue it onto the head, snip off that part need that. Now you have the little square there. Um, and now we're going to do the zipper and the waist belt. Now that is very self-explanatory. What you're going to do is that you're going to take another strip of black, cut that strip off like so. Then you're just going to go along the side here and make it thin and just go like so. Uh, and then just cut it off like that and cut it down like that. And now you have the zipper for the coat. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to make the waist to another strip of black Put it like so and then you can wrap it around when we finally glue it together and then we'll get to that later so now you have all your parts cut out um you have all your parts cut out uh now what you're gonna do we're going to put your felt to the side because we don't need it anymore. We might need it later on when there are some parts that we need to fix or remake or anything like that. Now, let me just pull my tripod. Uh, now, what you're going to do, it tripod is not working properly. Uh, so now what you're going to do is that you're going to plug in your hot glue gun. Uh, wait for that to um, heat up. Um, and then we're going to show you how, to, and then I'm going to show you how to glue all the parts together, stuff it, all that easy breeze. Um, so I'm going to cut the camera and I'll be back when my hot glue gun is, um, ready to go. Um, so we'll cut the camera right now. Okay, uh, so I forgot to make the hood. So there's probably 20 million people screaming at me in the comments right now. Oh my god, you forgot to make the hood. Don't worry, I, I literally caught myself. Uh, so, 
Basically, what I have discovered is to make the hood, you're going to need a rectangle, big old rectangle. Then you're going to fold it around your head, like so. You're going to fold it around your head and just to see what area looks best, like so. And if you have the right shape, which I have, you're going to cut a little snip like that. And then you're just going to go around like an oval. This is the most easiest way for me personally to do it. Um, so let me just see if we're doing good or whatnot. This is the hard one. The hood is tough as part. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know how to make a freaking hood. Come on. Let me just see how this works. Um, so scratch with the rectangle fit. This is a lovely, lovely little thing here. Uh, what you can do is, since I'm stupid, we're going to have to scratch the head right here. What you're going to do is that you're going to take your little head here. Let me just put down my camera. Let me just move to the side here. Um, what you're going to do... Here's your head. You're going to trace around the pink like we've done with the other body part. Um, and you're actually you're going to make it a little bit larger. I am sorry if this tutorial is kind of all over the place. I, there's no script. I'm literally making up as I go. Um, other than the Star Wars one, because I actually knew what I was doing. This one, I'm just going in blind. So, you're going to make the circle a little bit bigger than the head. Like so, like that. That looks pretty dope. And then... You're going to trace the big purple, uh, I keep saying purple, pink circle. There you go. Now you have two circles of pink and one circle of black. And scratch the other one. Throw it to the side. And my hot glue gun. And your hot glue gun should be ready by now like mine is. And we're just going to go right on to the gluing and hotting part um, of the press. So, take your thing to the side. Move it here. So you have a little bit of room to glue. That should be a given. Um, you're going to separate your body here. And you're just going to take... your hot glue gun and you're just going to trace it around the edges of your body like so and hot glue gun uh hot glue does dry uh dry really fast so you're gonna have to work really fast so now that you have it and also do not glue it all the way around at the bottom you need that to be left open so you can stuff it um so make sure that's all glued together. Take on the, some of your stuffing here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just enough to give it a plump shape. 
like so and just stuff it in there if you have trouble stuffing um smaller spaces we are not going to be stuffing these arms and legs they are too small to do and it's going to mess up the pipe cleaner but if you don't want pipe cleaner in your arms or legs uh and you just glue on the outline and have a little access point for you to stuff it uh and you have trouble stuffing it in what i recommend is taking a pen or a pencil and just stabbing it in there to make it fit um and do not um stuff it to the brim because the hot glue gun uh, the hot why do i keep saying hot glue gun the hot glue will come undone and then you're going to have to do it again so now that you have your your stuffed body i glue it and i'm sure you have that okay so you have your body put it to the side we're gonna do it with the arms so what you're going to do with the arms, make sure you have everything good. All right. So flip this around. And what you're going to do is that you're just going to make some teeth on like some, like some waves of hot glue, just like that. And you're just going to glue it onto your pipe cleaner um, and your other arm piece. What that's going to do is that it's going to hold the pipe cleaner in place so it won't move around. And it also gives a nice firm slap so then you have your arm what you're gonna and then you can take your hand and glue it around here and just glue it like so then you have your little hand like so this is uh and then you're gonna do the exact same thing for the other uh arm do some zigzags or you can just glue it all the way to the brim if you want and just glue it on like so and you may have to glue the edges because sometimes the glue doesn't always go to the edges and if you bend it then it will and then you can see the other bent just glue like so and hot glue is very hot i burned myself a couple of times i'm immune to it because i've been like working with hot glue ever since i was little because i've been making swatches for a very long time with hot glue and sheets fun fact i used to make swatches out of like really old bed sheets uh but, but that's besides the point um so yeah just be careful with yourself when you're gluing uh then there you go two arms ready then for the legs do the exact same thing from the arms to the legs, glue it, smack it down, make sure there are no excess bits, like so, like this, just glue it around like so, and then you have your little arms, that, that's a leg, apparently the legs are arms now, um, glue it like so, beautiful. Beautiful leg. Then you're going to take your little feet, glue it on the edge, like so, not the round bit. Then you're just going to glue it, like so. Then you have a foot. Do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, do it like so. Now you have your feet, your arms, your head. Well, we haven't done the head yet, we should actually do that. Um, so take your pink circle, glue it all the way around. Uh, actually, we're gonna stuff this one. So leave a little excess bit like so. 
gotta do the do do do. Like so. And. Uh, and hot glue. France do get everywhere. So you might find those after you're done working with that. And then just stick it in there. And if there are some something sticking out, then you can just remove some. Now you're going to take your stuffing here and glue the excess bit around like so. Glue it together. Now for your little... Um, now for your little head. For your mask, I should say. Glue the little mask part all the way around. We are not going to stuff the mask part if you want. You can. Just do the exact same process that I've shown you with the head. Uh, now, there you go. Now you have your little uh, uh, mask or head. Now we're going to take your shape. So if you're doing the square, you have your little strands here. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make, I'm going to glue all the strands together first and then glue it on. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take this part here, glue it on the edge of the rectangle at the ends. Then you're going to take your little other bit here and glue it to the side like so. And then you can separate it like that to give it more of a square-like feature. Like so. So that's the back side. You glue it on the glue on this side and you glue it together so then it looks cohesive in the front area like so. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So this is the back side of the square. From So then you're going to glue the two parts on this side here. Do like so. And bam, you have your little square doodad. Then you're going to hot glue around the entire square from the uh, back here. Uh, like so. And then you're going to glue it on your head. Like so. Bam! Now you have your mask. Now come back to the body. Now you're going to take your zipper here. Your little strip of black. Glue it on the back. And glue it to the body. Like so. I'm going to bring this in closer so you guys can see. I should have done that a long time ago, but hey, I'm stupid. There you go. You have a layer like that. Then you're going to take your other strip, glue it all the way around like so. This is going to be the belt. Glue it like so. And then glue it. Then wrap it around like so. Um, and you can fill in that space if you want. That's what I'm going to do. So make sure you don't throw your excess pieces away of felt because you're probably going to use it soon. So then just take a little excess piece of felt and just cut it and fit this the end. And like so. And put it together. You have your body done and we have everything else done. So now you're going to glue everything together to make it cohesive, obviously. Take your arms, glue it just a tiny bit here, and you're going to put it to the side of the body like so. I'm just going to actually make a little bit more hot glue, and then you can wrap around the rectangle, the, the tip that you did, so then it looks cohesive, like so, just like that.
So do it like this. So you're just gonna take, oh, there's a strand of hot glue. Um, so then you're just gonna take a strip here, strip here, strip here. Three strips of hot glue, just like that. Then you're gonna take the middle glue and just glue it on like so, and then bam, that's how you make the rectangle, the arms not so rectangly. For the legs, just glue on the front here, like so, and then you're gonna glue it to the back end of here, so the hot glue would look like that. Um, do the exact same thing on the other side, well, on the other leg, I should say. And then you're gonna have your head, like so. And just glue it onto the body, like so and just kind of squish it down so it touches the body perfectly and the head is a little bit floppy that's usually what happens and and you're gonna have to wait and because talk uh, because after you glue it down it this is a really easy way to make a plushie because hot glue um is easy to work with and it's also and it dries really quickly so then you can actually pose it after you're done there you go. Now, now you can just take off the little strands of hot glue that you can find on your body, and bam! Let me just fold up my tripod like so. And bam! That's how you make the pink a pink soldier from Squid Game. This is how you make the square mask. Uh, you can do the exact same process of the body and the head, and then you can just use a different shape. You just cut out a circle or cut out a triangle and just glue it on like so uh pretty easy uh i don't know why i decided to do strips um i thought that looked a little bit um i thought that strips would good be easy i could literally just take a like cut out a little square and just hollowed it out um so but there you go that's how you make a pink soldier uh from squid game uh this is a very well made plush so no sewing needed obviously um, so hopefully you guys make, can make your own Squid Game Pink Soldier. Um, anyway, uh, if you want to DM me what you guys have made, um, your Pink Soldier, DM me on Instagram, Riley the Nerd on Instagram. My DMs are always open. Come on in, just send me a picture, chat with me. Uh, I'll do anything, basically. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, and, um, yeah, so... So, bye guys, uh, you, like, comment, subscribe, I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is, so, bye guys. <laughs>